From their makeshift shelters, they can watch the planes land at the airport in Bangui. Many carry aid for the displaced who have fled here to escape the fighting in the Central African Republic. But at the Mpoko camp, a stone's throw from the runway, it has taken the first of the vital aid four weeks to reach the thousands. There is not enough water to go around and no toilets. It's about 100,000 people living here in a very small area close to the airport. It's hard to understand why so little aid has, uh, has come to this population. Estimates put the number of displaced in the country at around one million, a quarter of the population. Half that number are from the capital. Some desperate for help are prepared to cross borders. It's really sad, very sad. I was born here in the Central African Republic, but I am now forced to leave. I'm leaving for Chad, though I don't know anyone there and have never been to Chad before. But I know I'm going to be welcomed there. The conflict between Christians and Muslims in the landlocked former French colony has prompted the United Nations to warn the fighting could spiral into genocide. Earlier this week, the UN Security Council approved the deployment of European troops.